The array every method executes a given function on every items of an array and returns true only if the callback function returns a truthy value for all the items inside the array. If a falsy value is found, it will return false immediately. Let's see how this works in code. You can see here we have an array of numbers from 1 to 5. Let's say we want to check if all of the numbers are positive. So we're going to call the every method upon the numbers array. This method requires a callback function and that callback function will be provided with value index and array, which can be used. I'm going to write here the callback function. Let's call it is positive and it can get the item, the index and the array. But in this case, we won't need index and array, so I'm going to remove them. And here we can return if the item is greater than zero. So if it is a positive number and this is positive callback function can be put there. And now if we console.log the result, I forgot to store it here. We can see that in the right we now get true because all of the elements are bigger than zero. What if we add minus one here at the beginning? Now we're going to get false because one of the items inside the array is not positive. Let's see another example of when we can use this function. We can test if we have an array of objects if all the objects inside of that array have a certain property. So let me quickly paste in the array of objects. All right, so here we have an array of objects. Each object has a name a property except the last one. So let's test if all of the objects inside the person's array have the name property. So const result will be persons dot every and here we can provide an arrow function and for every person we're going to test if the person dot name is different of undefined so we can check if we have that a property undefined all right and let's console.log res and here we go we get false because the last one here j it's a surname Let's change this to name and now we should get true, which is true. Or another example might be, let's say we want to have an array of arrays. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we want to check if all of the items inside the, uh, let's change this actually, arrays like that. And we want to check if all of the arrays are actually arrays. Array is array, this array we're providing. Oh, I messed up the array. Uh, here are column and here also, and we need to remove the parentheses. All right, like that. Okay, so now we have an array of arrays and here we get true but if for example this will become a string one two three or something like that will get false because this is not an array but i guess by now you get how the every method works i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you in the next one bye